The Reboa Balloon Kit is a complete kit that contains all that the trained physician needs to achieve temporary occlusion of the aorta, except fluids. It is important that the performing physician has read the IFU, Information for Use, before use. On top of the package, the kit with sterile draping, needles, syringes and the other devices needed to support the procedure are located. Open the package and identify the components. Sterile gloves, the sterile dressing to cover the puncture site and the legs, needles, syringes, swabs, introducer, scalpel, needle holder, guide wire and stopcock. Identify the fixation suture and the Reboa balloon catheter packed separately on the bottom of the kit box. Make sure that the balloon has the desired size. A balloon with a 15mm diameter is recommended for use in the aortic zone 3. For zone 1, either a 15 or 20mm balloon is recommended. The Reboa balloon consists as a non-compliant balloon which does not allow the balloon to be inflated to a larger diameter than indicated on the label. This reduces the risk for overstretching and rupture of the aorta. If the balloon is filled with more fluid than indicated in the IFU, the balloon will rupture in the end alongside the shaft to avoid damage to the aortic wall. Make sure to get safe access to the common femoral artery by the use of ultrasound guided puncture. Apply local anaesthetics if needed and if there is time. The rest of the procedure is performed using standard Seldinger technique. Once the 19 gauge needle is in the artery, insert the guide wire with the soft J-curved tip into the needle. Advance the guide wire approximately 50 centimeters. If resistance is felt, stop and retract the guide wire. Retract the needle keeping guide wire in place. Make sure that the dilator of the introducer is securely fastened. A click is heard and felt as the dilator is fastened to the introducer hub. Insert the introducer over the guide wire. Make sure that the dilator stays fastened inside the introducer until the introducer hub gets in contact with the skin. Then remove the dilator over the wire. Aspirate blood without resistance to make sure the introducer is in the artery before flushing with saline. Insert the Reboa balloon catheter over the wire. The balloon should not be inflated before it is inserted through the introducer to avoid increased resistance or damage to the balloon when it is pushed through the introducer sheet. For the use in Zone 3, identify the 30cm marking on the shaft. This marking should be pushed 2-3cm to through the hub, so the marking is situated approximately where the introducer enters the arterial wall. Install 8mm of saline or iodine contrast media in the 15 by 30 mm balloon and 15 mm in a 20 times 30 mm balloon. Iodine contrast is more viscous than saline and demands higher pressure to be installed than saline. Close the stopcock when fully inflated. An increased blood pressure should be obtained within a short period of time after inflation. If increased blood pressure is not obtained within a short period of time, the following reasons must be evaluated. Either the balloon is misplaced, the bleeding is from a level above the balloon, there may be a malfunction of the balloon, or the low blood pressure may be caused by other reasons than heavy bleeding. To deflate the Reboa balloon, open the stopcock and apply suction with the syringe. Be patient, this may take up to 30 seconds in a 15 by 30 milliliter balloon due to the small bore of the 6 French compatible shaft.
Retract the balloon through the introducer, keeping the introducer in place. A slight resistance is felt as the balloon enters the tip of the introducer. By rotating the catheter as the balloon is retracted into the introducer, the wings of the balloon are folded. This will ease the retraction and may prevent damage to the introducer tip. Remove the introducer and close the puncture site by using standard technique or a closing device. This picture shows an inflated 15 by 30 milliliter rubber balloon with the guide wire mounted through a 6 French introducer. The X-ray markings are seen in both ends inside the balloon. This illustrates retraction into the introducer without rotation of the catheter. The balloon will enter with some resistance. This close-up of the deflated balloon illustrates how the wings of the balloon are folded by rotating the catheter as the balloon is retracted into the introducer. The balloon enters easily. Fixation of the catheter by the use of the fixation tape in the kit. Fixation using suture. With retracted blade, the safety scalpel can be used as a tread cutter.